what's up everybody today i brought out the remake of my a4 skyhawk um the white one is printed with a 0.48 wall width the gray one or the silver one with a 0 0.40 so the 0 0.40 is a little bit lighter the gray one uh, this flight video will be the white one i printed it with eSun. um if you if you look in the description i will leave a link to where you can download this model um it comes with g-codes 0.48 and 0 0.40 wall widths for uh, eSun, Sane Smart, and ColorFab. Um, so there's actually six set of G codes for each one of those. The the hatch I made spring loaded just like my Sportster using a rubber band. Uh, there's a lot more room inside if you look. Uh, to move the battery forward and back, if you click on the link for Colts on Colts3D.com, you can view the full description for this airplane. Uh, it has also a removable refueling probe. It slides in and out. There's a metal wire all the way through the entire probe. So there's options for the straight, the straight one you see there, um, or the bent one. Also, the hump up top can be printed separately. So my one model has it, the other one doesn't. This one right here, the white one, the 0.48 wall width, um, I'm trying to see where my threshold is for hand launching. So right now it's at 820 grams. I have metal wires through it. I use metal wires in the leading edge, up and down the fuselage, and across the wing. Now the gray one, I put carbon fiber in. I only put one metal wire. So that one came out about 150 grams lighter using the color fab and the 0 .40 instead of the 0 .48. So if you guys like the video, please take the time to hit the like button. It'll help other people find my work. And you can subscribe to future videos of mine if you want. As soon as the weather gets a little better, I have two other models of these I'd like to be testing, including a 64mm version. But I knew if I did the 64 first, I wouldn't want to come out here and do the 50 because uh, the 64 is going to have a lot more power and, and fly a lot better, I'm assuming. So you know, I need to plug my battery in. I have not flown the 64 yet. The irony there is the 64 millimeter version. Um, I'm pretty sure it's actually going to be lighter altogether because of the structure in the fuselage. So the CG you can find on Colts3D.com if you click on the link. You can see some pictures. I do have a build video. It may be posted by the time I put this video up. It's very simple to build. The model prints just like it's in vase mode um, with retractions off. It has so three solid tops, two solid bottoms. It doesn't have any travel moves in it. So I gotta throw it towards the power wires, unfortunately. Got a crosswind. There's about 12, 12 mile an hour winds right now. With gusts up to 22 today, and it is currently about 34 degrees, so. So this is my heaviest one. I've been adding weight to it until I find that I can't fly it no more, or that it's just too heavy to hand launch. I'm gonna get away from that sun. This will be my third flight for this model. Like I said, this one is uh, 820 grams about. My other one's lighter. So it's going to fly better. I wanted to make sure if somebody downloaded and printed these airplanes that, you know, if they print theirs a little thicker or they have a motor that's a little bit less power for some reason, um, that it's still going to hand launch and fly. It's kind of crabbing there in the wind. So I only got a 1500 battery in this one. I am going to put a bigger battery in it um, so I can see where my threshold is for hand launching. So this 1500 battery will give me about a three minute, two and a half, three minute flight. It 
the anchor bank there's no rudder I didn't bother with the rudder it's so high up on the A4 I just ailerons and elevator um, I use the center hole on this model for the ailerons and the second to the last for the elevator and it's shivering because it's so cold it's about 75 percent throttle there So she's telling me I got about 30 seconds left. 20 seconds. So I'm gonna go around and put it in the grass over here. I do have flat mix I just put on. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Bill from Hollow Models RC. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Or you can subscribe to future content of mine. Uh, there is a link in the description to download this model. And I'm going to try to get a couple more videos tonight. Talk to you guys next time.